Goku versus Broly was never close. Okay, maybe I may be of exaggerating a bit, but the fight wasn't fully at its peak. I feel like despite the literal beatdown Goku, Vegeta, no, not Freezer, were due to the fact that they were holding back, especially Goku. Although his intentions wasn't to actually kill Broly, unlike Vegeta who didn't hesitate to catch a body. If not for plot armor of course, the fact that Goku was still holding back against Broly was just something to think about. Goku had his very recognizable Kaioken multiplier and his Ultra Instinct which in my own opinion would have done the job against Broly. Instead all we got was just a troll. But I gotta be honest, they really did us on that one. But if this played out, if this somehow happened, would it have saved Goku from still getting his ass whooped? Well. I guess you could say it would have been a gamble because it wouldn't surprise me if somehow Broly actually scaled to Ultra Instinct. Cause it was literally happening right in front of us. Goku got his ass handed to him in base, turned to Super Saiyan, still got smacked, pulled up a god level transformation, still got smacked, and went blue, and it didn't even make a difference. And all this, Broly was still in his Akari state. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> his Super Saiyan states got Goku and Vegeta running for their lives, Frieza got extremely bodied, and Gogeta had to use blue to properly jump Broly. And let's not even forget that at this time related to the manga, Goku didn't even master Ultra Instinct yet. His Kaioken multiplier would have just made him strain himself too much. And if Broly could reverse jump Goku and Vegeta at blue, what would you think a Kaioken multiplier would actually do? So to summarize it all, no. No, Goku wouldn't have any chance against Broly at all. And the fight was never close. So if you somewhere like this video, please do want to drop a like and subscribe for more content. Hope to see you then. Peace.